Hey everybody, Jeff Dunham and Peanut. It is good to see everybody. Thanks for joining us. And Jeff, do you know why we're here? I do. Yes, we are counting down the top 10 videos that we had in 2018. Right. Yeah, so the new year, we're here to celebrate some fun. Top 10 videos. Yes, and these videos have gotten millions and millions of views from you guys. So we're going to count down to the top one. But starting at number 10. Wait, what? We're not going to start at number 10. Why not? Let's start at number 9. What happened to 10? I didn't like it. What? I didn't like it. You didn't like it? No, no. Uh, okay, really? Right. Okay, fine. We're going to do the top 10 and start at number 9. Right, yeah. So this one is a Bubba J. It's the tape you weren't supposed to see a Bubba J. It's Bubba J when he doesn't really look like Bubba J. Earlier version. It's really sad. It's funny. No, it's not. Okay, whatever. Here he is. <laughs> Hi everybody, Jeff Dunham and Bubba J. I'm sorry, I cannot talk right now. What's wrong? I was on the internet and I saw a scary video of another guy with you that looked kind of like me and I think you're cheating on me. <laughs> no, I know what you're talking about. What? Bubba J, we found a lost tape of the first version of you. Huh? Well, you didn't exactly look then what you look like now. Huh? <laughs> you were introduced in 1992 in my act. Yeah, that was a long time ago. So you want to see the first iteration of you? Is this my doppelganger? Doppelganger? Yeah, it is. Okay, all right. So this is a really old tape from 1992. Here's you. It's kind of scary. <laughs> so everybody, watch the first virgin of me. Version. No, I'm a virgin too. Okay, you'll see why. Directly? 
this thing. <laughs> Well, he had a family reunion at the state fair. State fair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And where was she? Well, she was leaning up against the Ferris wheel, sunlight glistening off her curlers, <laughs> corn dog in one hand, cotton candy in the other. I said, her young woman, you look more delicious than mayonnaise oozing out of a spam sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> you date her a long time? Learned it long. How'd you propose? I didn't. Her daddy did. <laughs> How'd that happen? Well, I was supposed to come pick her up about 7 o'clock one night. Got there at 7.30. Yeah, there her daddy was on the front porch with a shotgun. He said, hey, Bubba, guess who else is late? <laughs> Sister. One sister, is she pretty? <laughs> no. <laughs> she kind of looks like me with a skirt. <laughs> so, Bobby, you live in a small town? Pretty small. How small? Well, some of the folks got to double up on their jobs. Like what? Well, the veterinarian is also the taxidermist. <laughs> <laughs> well, either way, you get your dog back. <laughs> Fun there. Uh, let's see. We uh, watch TV. Likes what? Uh, who? Like what? Uh, uh Duke's Hazard. <laughs> Anything educational? Like what? PBS. Uh, no, we don't get that. Oh, I mean, there's no station. <laughs> no, I mean, we just don't get it. <laughs> Play games? What? Trivial Pursuit. Ah, what version? Light Crash. <laughs> what are the topics in that? Stock car racing. Beer. <laughs> Is there an advanced version? Oh, look at what, what are the topics there? Elvis. <laughs> UFO abduction tips. <laughs> Roadkill recipes. <laughs> Someone recently gave you a computer. Yeah, I got me a laptop computer. What kind is it? I don't know. When you make a mistake, you hold it upside down and shake it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> does this computer have a keyboard? No, just two little white knobs. Say goodnight, my luck. Well, that was scary. Yeah, Bubba Jay's come a long way. No, I, I mean your mullet. I did have a mullet. Yeah, that was really stinking scary. Now, okay, coming in at number, oh, we started at number nine. Now coming in at number eight. Wait, we're not gonna do number eight. Wait, you're gonna skip another one? Well, the eighth most watched video of ours was actually car related, and these are all kind of comedy, so it interrupts the flow. You're serious? Right. Okay, so uh, if you wanna go see that one, it's about Jeff, painting his uh, shagging wagon a van yeah to match his don't say it oh come on to match his did uh, come on all right go ahead okay to match his uh, pinto pinto cruising wagon oh much better than a plain tinto yeah yeah anyway that's not in this list no okay so come in at number seven <gasps> number seven i love this one it's the halloween with video we all sat around and scared each other <laughs> I love scary story stories. <laughs> Look, I'm in. What does that mean? It means me too, but without the hashtag. This is gonna be great. Let me get this straight. We're supposed to just sit here and let Walter scare the bejesus out of us? Well, because it's fun. Yeah, it's fun to be scared. Yep, good times. It's the best if afterwards you feel like you need to sleep with your shotgun. 
Sleep like a sleep, not the other kind. What the hell? And you infidels call me crazy? Hey, one morning after Halloween, I picked up my bag of candy and all the Snickers bars were gone. They had just disappeared. A ghost took them. That scared the crap out of me. Just the Snickers were gone. Yup, ghosts love Snickers. Did you ever think that maybe someone in your family simply took the Snickers when you weren't looking? No, maybe ghosts don't like Snickers. My family did it. Would you guys please shut up? I'm gonna tell the story now. My family is assholes. Silence! See how that works? Thank you, Ahmed. And now... I'll be quiet. I'm good at being quiet. You can always count on me being quiet when you need quiet, like now. I'm being quiet because I'm scared and I quietly peed my pants. Ew. Ahmed. Silence! Wait, is that all I'm good for? For now, yes, and you shut up too. <clears throat> Not so long ago, on a dark and stormy night, just like this one, and not far from this very spot. You are saying something happened here? Like right here, here? He, he said it happened here. Oh, no, no. Nothing happened yet. Oh, you watch. There's going to be a dude with a meat cleaver. There's always a crazy infidel with three names in a meat cleaver. John Wayne Gacy, Henry Lee Lucas, Hillary Rodden Clinton. Dear bejesus, help me, I'm gonna die. The entire city was terrified because the cleaver killer was on the loose. See? What's his name? I bet crazy infidel has three names. Shut up. Thunder rumbled, lightning flashed, and rain thrashed the wearied shingles of the darkened house on the cave. This is a goat story, right? All goat stories happen in caves. Ghost story, Ahmed. It's a ghost, not goat. This sucks. I'll make you a ghost when I kill you all. If Ahmed killed the goat, would it be a ghost goat or a goat ghost? There is no goat. <laughs> Say that three times fast. Ghost goat, ghost goat, ghost goat, ghost goat, ghost <gasps> Try this one. Three gray ghosty goats floating on a floaty boat. The boat was floaty and the goats were ghosty. Three gray floaty ghosties. Hey, I like that one. Three goaty ghosties floating on a boaty floaty. Be quiet. Let the angry old man speak. Shut the hell up. Ah! <sighs> Where was I? The scary rain was beating down on the ugly double wide. It was a house on a hill, senor. This goat story is very unrealistic. Just tell the story, Walter. I'm trying. <clears throat> it was a dark, dark night. The rain fell hard on the roof of the house on Dunham Hill. The cleaver killer was on the loose. Lightning! A shadow in the window! A scream! Ah! Ah! What is it? I just remembered that I left my tater tots in the oven. Will you please stop interrupting? They were the good ones with the gravy inside. Ah! A blood-curdling scream. The ancient weathered front door crashes open, and a terrified young man escapes into the rain, stumbling down the stairs and into the mud. His screams drowned out by the driving weather as a shadowy figure fills the darkened doorway. You know, this isn't very terrifying, and I know terror. Yep, Ahmed does know terror. He's got that down. Ahmed wouldn't know terror unless it blew up in his face. That is exactly what happened. Thanks for bringing up the most painful moment in my life. Your death. Yes, I mean my death. Thank you, redneck infidel. No problem, terrific terrormeister. <laughs> hey, I still think this story should be in a trailer park. More relatable to a lot of us, you know what I mean? And more goats. Terrifying, but with some sex. What? Oh, don't pretend you don't know. This one time at band camp, a goat ate my stick. 
Sometimes I think my trailer is haunted because I wake up every morning and I'm pretty sure goats have drank all my beer. Holy crap. My turn. Okay, once upon a time, it was raining in a dark cave and there was a trailer full of goats. <laughs> <laughs> ah! And a terrifying infidel with three names and a meat cleaver. And no beer. And he eats baby jalapenos. What the hell is going on here? I have no idea. Come on, Walter. What scares you? Nothing. That's not true. What is it, Wally? Call me Wally again and I'll kill you. See, what scares you, Senor Walter? Okay, you ask for it. Happy hippies? STDs in old folks' homes, and the Kardashians. Happy now? <laughs> Those were more funny than scary. We want to know what really scares you. You don't want to know. Yes, we do. I can't tell you. I have to show you. Oh, this is getting good. I warned you. Yup, we've been warned. What's going on here? We thought you were the crazy cleaver killer. Walter was about to show us what really scares him. I was gonna show everybody the new mole on my back, and I think it's growing. Oh, I'm gonna hurl. Dinner in 10 minutes, guys. You guys actually thought Jeffrey Douglas Dunham was the cleaver killer. <laughs> what did you say? That infidel has three names? Everybody has a first, middle, and last name. Oh, really, Peanut? And what are your three names? That's what I thought. Uh, he's got a point, Jeff, right? Jeff? <laughs> hey, I should be the one doing the crazy laughter. Probably so. Whatever. You later. Happy Halloween! <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun. Maybe for you. What are you talking about? Look at this outtake. Oh. So we're behind the scenes on our Halloween video. Matt, take a look behind me. <laughs> this is why I hate Matt. <laughs> I really hate him. Aw, poor Jeff. Well, you're not getting any sympathy from me. Why not? Because you keep me in a suitcase! Okay, fine. All right. Come in to number six. Number six. Number six most watched video of all of ours for 2018. What is it? It is our holiday dinner. That's right. Just say Christmas. Okay, our Christmas dinner. Right, yeah. And this video also shows the good reason that we're still cleaning Jeff's house. It was a mess. It was a big mess, man. Yeah. yeah, Audrey loved it. No. No. Well, Jeff, I really like what you've done with the place. Um, thanks, Bubba Jay. He's putting up plastic because last year at Christmas dinner, Bubba Jay thought the horseradish was mashed potatoes. I thought I'd been poisoned. I might have even hurled, but I don't remember. I remember. All right, I'll be back. I'm going to go check on the turkey, and I have a big surprise for you guys. Hey, when I was a kid, we had a couch in the kitchen covered in plastic just like this. You had a couch in the kitchen? Yeah, and if we were hot and sweaty and Dad hit the brakes, we'd slide off the couch and smash into the back of his seat. <laughs> I remember when I could sweat. That's when Dad used only four-letter words. 
all adjectives and no uh, preservatives. I miss my skin. No skin, no sweat, but you still smell like an explosion. How the hell does that happen? I may not have skin, but it's better than being wrinkled, pink, and squishy. Oh, great. Now I have a picture of naked Walter in my head. <gasps> Let's see if it matches the one in my wallet. You have naked pictures of Walter? Yeah, sorry, Walter. It was my shower cam, or uh. You are what? My shower cam, or uh. I was taking naked pictures of myself, naked, for FarmersOnly.com, and I forgot to take out the camera, and it was on auto zoom take video wiener pics, but it's okay, because TMZ paid me a lot of money for yours, Walter. <laughs> you sold them to TMZ? No, they paid me a lot of money for yours to be deleted. Oh. Dude, they practically begged me. This is all making me sick to my stick. I do not wish to toss my cookies like my daughter did at her case in Euro. Please don't talk about throwing up again. Our holidays always end with someone around here doing the Technicolor yawn. Technicolor yawn. <laughs> Guilty. Yay for family traditions. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. Maybe not. Hey, since we didn't do it at Thanksgiving, why don't we all go around the table now and say what we're thankful for? Ah, oh, please, not this. I'll go first. I am thankful for the color purple. Not the book or the Oprah movie, but the actual color of purple. Oh, I hate this every year. I'm also thankful that Ariana Grande is single again and that my Tinder account was swiped right eight times last week. That's right, eight times in nine days, my dudes. Do the math. 256? No, no, 625. <laughs> math is easy. I'm also thankful for never getting in trouble for not wearing pants. Where's my shower cam when you need it? Okay, who wants to go now? Me next! Uh, good. Let's get this out of the way. Um, let us close our eyes in prayer. Not one of us can close our eyes. Good point. Someone should talk to Jeff about that detail. Dear baby Jesus, I'm thankful for my three dogs, Bud, Miller, Miller Lite, and Captain Morgan. I'm also thankful for my favorite foods. Gravy, biscuits, biscuits and gravy, grits, grits and gravy, sausage gravy, and sausage gravy with biscuits and grits. But they never have to be in that order. Peanut, this is your fault. What? We're going to be here for days. I'm also thankful for my best friends in the whole world. Peanut, Jose, Ahmed, and Jeff. I'm also thankful for... Hey, are we forgetting someone? Nope. Oh, what else? Oh, beer, NASCAR, hot cousins, really hot cousins, toilets with plumbing, Febreze body sprays, and my life coach, Clyde. Thank you, Clyde. Indubitably, Bubba J, a bit more work to do with you, but carry on. Who the hell is that guy? He's the guy in Jeff's closet. Roar! Silence! My turn! Almost. Wait, did I say gravy? Oh, I'm thankful for gravy. And Ariana Gravy. Yeah, Ariana Gravy. Grande. No, gravy! I'd sop her up with a biscuit. Ahmed, you're thankful for something? No, I'm just going to lose it if the redneck says gravy one more time. Come on, you have to be thankful for something. No. What about your family? Okay, yes, maybe my family. Your wife? Vizuz. Wife Vizuz. Wife, wife Vizuz. <laughs> yes, I'm thankful that my wives keep their faces covered. Oh. And I'm thankful for the DTSG. The DTSG? The Dead Terrorist Support Group. We have a blast. <laughs> That's our slogan. We have a blast. Get it? Good Lord, can we wrap this up? No, it is still my turn. 
I am also thankful for hot glue. Uh, what? Hot glue fixes stuff, like my foot. Not kidding, Jeff once repaired my foot with hot glue. That was duct tape. Silence! I will go now, senor. <clears throat> I am thankful for my stick. It has held me up. I am also thankful for tequila. It has made me fall down. I'll drink to that. And finally, I am thankful for my jalapeno wife. Honesty. She is hot. <gasps> Papa Jay! What? Last year at our holiday party, she gave me one of those awkward acquaintance hello kisses where you kind of hug and kind of kiss, but you don't exchange fluids, y you know, like an oil change. Except this time, I forgot I was an Italian and I kissed her lips. <laughs> Papa J, Ixnay on the hot hay. Yeah, I got some of her hot juice. I'm going to stab you with my stick. I want to kill him first. That's what I want for Christmas. Stick of work in me, I'm done. We are done until we all participate. Walter, it's your turn. Bah. We could ask Papa J about his favorite foods again. Gravy, I love me some gravy. Okay, okay, I'll go. All right. Uh, I'm thankful for free samples at Costco, cars that never have to be plugged in, and for the children who assembled my iPhone. I'm sorry I asked. You started it. I'm gonna finish it. I'm thankful for holidays where I don't have to go around a table and BS about my feelings. I'm thankful for my new medical plan called Look It Up on WebMD, dumbass. A big thank you for dogs that greet me without shoving their faces into my nuts, and thanks for the guy that invented shirts you can wear untucked. That guy stole my idea. <laughs> See? And thanks for my friends Peanut, Ahmed, Jose, and Jeff, but not Bubba J. What'd I do? In your big list of friends, you left me out. That is not true. Oh, really? Hmm. Hey, camera guy, can you rewind that thing? All right, let's go to the tape. I'm also thankful for my best friends in the whole world, Peanut, Jose, Ahmed, and Jeff. Now what do you have to say? Oh, uh, please pass the biscuits. I'll pass the biscuits, you moron! Thanks, Walter! That was amazing! Stay out of this, Brazil nut! Really, Walter? Corn on the cob? I will kick your ass! Incoming! Ha ha, you missed! Bring it on, bitch! You know I hate pasta, you little purple idiot! Oh, what the hell? Oh, yeah. What yeah. the hell? You, you want the truth? Yeah. You throw yeah. it yeah. Come on! Truth. You throw like a girl! You are a girl! You're a what is a girl? You little Wait, purple dad's a girl! <laughs> this is not going to end well. Great, oh. like a giant grizzly. Delicious! You didn't bring any biscuits, did you? No, senor. Grits? No. Damn. Senor Ahmed has... Hold that thought. I'm going for a biscuit. You need anything? But Senor Ahmed has... I'll be right back. Now where are those biscuits? A bomb! Oh! Huh? Oh, you sunk my battleship. Ahmed has a bomb. See, si, I know, senor. This is what I have been trying to tell you. Go without me, Jose. I'll never make it. I'm completely blind. Wait, Jose. Tell your jalapeno wife I love her. I will kill you. <laughs> we will kill you. butter. What? Oh, he's behind me, isn't he? 
Uh, Jeff. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> well, at least nobody brought up politics. <laughs> bon appetit! Was the greatest! I love that because that was all real food, pretty much. Yeah, those are real mashed potatoes and spaghetti and all that stuff. <laughs> I don't think Walter liked it. Why? Oh, take a look at this. Ha ha, you missed. Ha ha, you missed. Ha ha, you missed. It looks like a kill. Ha ha, you missed. Damn, you suck at this. Ha ha, you missed. <laughs> But could you even could you just like the piece in his mouth? The piece in his mouth is pretty pretty much golden. <laughs> that was awesome. Nice catch, Walter. Screw you! Hmm. Okay, here we are. Number five. Number five. You know what it is? I have no earthly idea what number five is. It is the lost tape of you and Jose from many years ago. What? I number five? Yeah. Why am I not number one? Don't worry about it. I'm worried about it. Just watch it. It's great. Okay, fine. Number five. Whatever. Hi everybody, Jeff Dunham. And Jose Jalapeno. That's right. On the stick. Mm -hmm. The one and only Jose Jalapeno on the stick. Not exactly. What do you mean? What is that? I am Jose Jalapeno on the stick. You're an imposter. No, I'm the original. That's right. The original Jose Jalapeno from 1983. You are old. I know. So he's just us two. No, not exactly. There are more Jose Jalapenos on the sticks. Mm-hmm. There's the middle guy. I don't believe it. Me neither. I found another lost tape. Oh, yay. <laughs> this is from the early 90s. It's from Rooster T. Feathers Comedy Club in Sunnyvale, California. Is that a big place? No. No. It also stars an older version of Peanut. I hate that guy. Me too. Mm hmm And also a worm in the bottle. I remember that. It's the tequila bottle. Si, sí, senor. Did you drink just a little? And anybody else? A little Jeff. The original little Jeff. A not so good looking one. <laughs> right, not so refined. This sounds like a lot of guys in one show. It was confusing. We'll see. Here's another lost tape. <laughs> How you doing, Peanut? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? I'm fine. That's good. That's good. That's good. Thank you. What? Do you have that thing we got in Mexico? The thing from Mexico? Yeah, I have it right over here. <gasps> Will you get it out and show it to everybody? You think it likes you? Oh, it's going to be cool. You guys are going to like it. It's going to be cool. You're going to like it. John, 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 John! Oh. You're going to like this, John. Oh. It's simple. <laughs> Will you stop picking on him? It's so easy. <laughs> He's going to get mad. A little like her. I'll go home in a trunk. <laughs> Mexico, Mexico! <laughs> Are you ready? Si, senor. <laughs> what a world do you think that is? A jalapeno on the stick. <laughs> That's a jalapeno on a stick. Si. <laughs> well, what's your name? My name is Jose. Jose? Si, who they are? Jose Jalapeno on the stick. <laughs> We've never seen a talking jalapeno. It's my job. Your job? See, do you have any other jobs? See, what? I'm a comedian. <laughs> a comedian. On the stick. <laughs> well, do you enjoy being in this country? I'm afraid for my life. Why? Taco Bell. <laughs> But would you feel safer in the box? He's much better in the box, okay? Is that okay? He's okay, okay. Don't close the door. <laughs> Why not? Cockroaches. <laughs> you have cockroaches in there? One, leave one. I see. <laughs> On a stick. <laughs> Senor. Yes? I need to come back out. No, we have to go on with the show. Senor. Yes? I need to come back out. You can't come back out. <laughs> I do not like the purple guy. Right. 
Stickhead. Purple kumquat. Purple kumquat. What did I do? You made him mad. Oh, what's he gonna do? Stick me? <laughs> well, so you just stay right there. I need to see the girl. What girl? Eat the girl. What makes you think a girl would want to see you? Jose has the speech. <laughs> Kind of racy out here, isn't it? Jose, well, so you just stay right there. I'm going to serenade the señoritas. No, you can't sing. I'm going to sing. You can't sing. Oh, 
dude, he fell down the stairs. Hope he's all right. He's dead. <laughs> what are we gonna do? You're gonna have to put him on his feet. <laughs> Now what are you going to do? I'm going to take a drink. Do I get something? While I'm drinking, you're going to talk. Wait a minute. Wait. You know what's going to happen if you drink that and I talk? What? We're all going to choke to death. <laughs> That'll make John's night, probably. <laughs> Not yet, John. <laughs> I need to take a time. Take a deep breath. A deep breath. Deep breath. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh. What was that? A burrito. On a stick. <laughs> Little jerk thing me to it. Well, you take your time. Here we go. Good luck. Thank you very much. You're going to die, senor. <laughs> Part. The dangerous part, that's right. He's going up to his lips and going, 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 going. Yeah. Wow, that brings back some memories. <laughs> uh, not talking to you. Peanut, it's not my fault. It is your fault. It was number five. They watch. Whatever. Okay. Okay. So, again, we're watching our top ten videos, eight videos, for 2018. Right. Yeah. Okay. And now we're on number... Uh, uh, four! We're on number four! Fine. Fine. Number four! I forgot what it was. <laughs> it's Bubba J being interviewed about a book he wrote. Oh, yeah. About President Ronald Grunt. Right. I like it. I'm in it. Okay. That's why it's great. Fine. Fine. Infidels, it is me, Ahmed the Dead Terrorist, reporting for Foxy News. How Foxy News, you ask? Because they know that I am no longer a threat for any sexual misconduct. It is sad, but look at me! One explosion, it was instant junkyard, if you know what I'm saying. Today, for my interview, we have the author of the number one book in the country that the White House calls a garbage book by a garbage author. Please welcome Bubba J. Hi, Ahmed. Hey, if this is Foxy News, then why are you here? I addressed this question already. The only time you were hot is after the explosion and you're on fire. I kill you from here! But you still smell pretty. Oh, why, thank you. Like lavender with hints of gunpowder and screaming. It's my new cologne, TNT by Paco Rabanne. Well, it's just lovely. Back to the reason you are here. Since losing the presidential election to Ronald Grump, you have become a best-selling author with your book, Fire and Furry. Furry? No, it's Fury. Furry. It's Fury. Furry. No, no, it's Fury. Show the cover of the book. Uh, oops. <laughs> oh well, at least spelling and facts don't matter when you're writing an autobiography about the president. Oh, but I did have an uncle that was furry. He used to dress like a bear and poop in the woods. So that finally answers that question. Silence! Now in your book, Fire and Furry, Inside Grump's White Horse, <laughs> what's so funny? It's supposed to say White House. Didn't you have an editor check for mistakes? Yeah, but it wasn't his fault. English ain't his first language. He's from one of those shithole countries. So you had a proofreader? Me and the guy read most of it, and we were drinking 80 proof. You're kidding, right? Half a bottle into it, and the book seemed perfect. It also says that this is an autobiography. Yep, I wrote it in my car, so autobiography. <laughs> Duh. We have heard that you are being accused of having a ghostwriter. A ghost? No, he was a real guy. You know how stupid you are. It's a gift. In the foreword it says, and I quote, that you settled on a series of events which you believe to be true. That's journalism 101, my friend. Fact-checking is for losers. That's a fact. 
I checked. Let's take a look at President Grump responding to your book. <sighs> All right, next question. Mr. President, uh, what do you think about Bubba Jay's new book about you? Oh, my base will not read his book. Not only is it filled with lies, but it's not a tweet. My supporters want no more than 140 characters at a time. And this book has way more than that. How do you respond? My book is number one on the North Korea Times bestseller list. That Chinese dude with the Floby haircut loved it. What's a Floby? Google it, Ahmed. You weren't here when those things were huge. It was genius. Still got mine. Where did you get all your information? I did over 200 interviews. With? With people. No, I mean, who did you interview about Grump? Mainly folks that hate him. I hung around CNN and MSNBC. I went to Fox, but they just gave me a bunch of attaboys. In the book, you claim Grump's White House is a disorganized mess. Who told you that? I just had a feeling. A feeling? You know, from thinking about it, uh, like this. Uh... Oh, I got a fact. Time to write a book. I see. Let's hear from Grump again. This book is utter fiction, and it's loaded with spelling mistakes. Terrible spelling. And I know spelling. I have the best spelling. Also, the grammar is terrible. Terrible grammar. Oh, and it was written in crayon. I mean, I like crayons. My whole family likes crayons, but not these crayons. They are the worst crayons. How do you respond to that? He's just jealous because I have the box of 64 that has the sharpener in the back. That thing is awesome. But I never know if you're supposed to peel the paper off the crayon first or let the sharpener do the job. Oh, I hate my life. Your book states that President Grump is mentally unstable, but just the other day there was a press conference with the White House doctor after the president's checkup. Let's take a look. So, in conclusion, President Grump undeniably passed both the health and mental screenings with flying colors. I'll take questions now. Oh, over here. Uh, so, so, you're saying that mentally he's unfit for office? No, I'm saying that mentally he's perfectly fit. Uh, so, so, he's crazy, right? No, I'll say it again. He shows no signs of any cognitive impairment. Over here. So, in layman's terms, he's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? Can you hear the words coming out of my mouth? Is it true that at some point in his life, President Grump will die? Can someone please just shoot me in the head now? Now? Who's the lucky doctor that gets to examine the first lady? You pervert! Next question! I'd actually like to know the answer to that last question, too. Oh, good lord, I don't know. He's new around here. What's his name? Oh, yeah, Dr. Matt Lauer. Next question! So how did you reach your conclusion that he is unfit for office? Oh, he fits in the office. He's not that fat. Oh, you mean like he's wackadoodle. I just like seeing him mad. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> it, it makes him look nuts. Oh, can I say nuts on TV? Or just point to him? Hey! I'll show you, stable genius. It's time to put a stop to this attack on my character right now. President Grump, what are you doing? If this author doesn't stop promoting this garbage book, I'll be forced to use my much bigger button. <gasps> that is a big button. Well, what do you think? Can I push it? Now it's getting weird. Ooh. You touched my coffee! Ah, that was a great one. It was. Yes, you know why? It was funny? No, it was because of me. You. Yes, me playing the doctor. That was an inny performance, I think. Maybe. I think so. Whatever. Group effort. Shut up. Okay, okay. How about number three? Coming in at number three, what is this? Is it of moi? No, 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 it's actually another lost tape, and this one of Walter. Oh my lord, are you fat or skinny? I, I don't know, just watch. Okay, probably both. 
Hi everybody, Jeff Dunham and Walter, and guess what we just found? Another lost tape. This is a scary lost tape. It's not that scary. Wait till they see you. <laughs> what year is this? 1991. 1991, we're at a little comedy club. We're getting ready for a, a Tonight Show appearance with Johnny Carson. That's right. Well, you did a little stand-up yourself. Yeah, it's kind of scary. I think it's great. Yeah, it's not so great. It's good. No, it's not. Yeah. yeah. And Walter, you look a little different in the tape. I know. What the hell? I thought when you get older, you're supposed to get smaller. Somehow, I'm older now, and I'm larger. It was an earlier version of you. I don't know what that means. Just watch. Whatever. Before Peanut comes and finishes things out, I have one last gentleman I'd like to introduce, and I think audiences enjoy this guy because everyone knows someone like this. You know somebody like this in your own family or where you work, but his name is Walter. Good evening, Walter. Ah, oh, shut the hell up. <laughs> you know where we are? Yeah, I know where we are. I don't give a damn either. <laughs> Hate this damn job. <laughs> want to get the hell out of here. Where do you want to go? Who the hell cares? <laughs> How about where you went last weekend? No, I don't want to talk about that. No, it's very nice. Walter and his wife went on their second honeymoon. Mm. It's like eating a piece of gum you already chewed. <laughs> See, they know what I'm talking about. Well, how'd the honeymoon go? What do you want to know? Well, how'd everything go? I did all right. That's kind of what I was wondering. Well, I don't want to get too personal. Of course not. There's a lot of heavy breathing. Heavy breathing. Some gyrations. Some moaning. Groaning. A little sweat. And then she took her medicine and she was all right. <laughs> well, what do you do for a living? I write greeting cards. <laughs> That's... What the hell are you laughing at? <laughs> Damn drunks. <laughs> We're not drunks. This is a great group of folks. I don't care. I just want to leave. You like to go? Well, I guess not. Why not? Because then I got to get in the trunk of that damn purple idiot. <laughs> it's like I'm nothing on heroin. <laughs> Walter, could you quote a couple of your best greeting cards for us? All right. How about get well card? How does that go? Sorry to hear you're sick. Dirt bag. <laughs> well, this is a lovely crowd we got here tonight. Yes, you think we can take advantage of them for a second? Uh, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> take advantage for the crowd a minute. What do you mean? Well, you know, we got the TV spot coming up. Oh, we got a TV spot coming up. We're going to use some old jokes and a few new jokes. And not if we try a few of the new ones out on you, let you be the jury. It's downhill from here. <laughs> Have you ever thought of therapy? Oh, no, I don't believe in it. No? No, but my wife made me go once. She did? Yeah, do any good? Oh, yeah. Talked to the guy for about half an hour. Yeah. And he went out and shot himself. <laughs> yeah, they like that one. <laughs> well, what do you know, like a couple of these guys here, you know, you're, you're losing your hair. Oh, hell, I know it. You, like I told you, we're follically impaired, aren't you? Yeah. Well, you know, there are a few things you, you, you could do for your hair. No, no, I, I think it's hopeless. You think so? Well, hell yeah, look at Star Trek. <laughs> 23rd century, they still haven't found a cure. <laughs> oh, all right, we'll keep that one, too. <laughs> what, what about, uh, like, the hair club for men? Oh, hell. That bozo on there. I'm not only the president, I'm the client, too. <laughs> what a cheese weenie that guy is. <laughs> Why don't we go one step further and find the guy that invented the pins? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I not only invented the pins, I'm wearing one right now. That was so so. It's all right. <laughs> now let's talk about relationships for a second. I understand your wife's in town. Oh, hell yeah, she's in town. She having a good time? Oh, she always has a good time. Pisses me off. <laughs> Well, you've been married a long time. Now, when do you think a couple have, has achieved true long-term stability in their marriage? When one of them's in a coma? <laughs> now, what would you say if, if I was going to get married? That'd be a miracle. <laughs> now, I mean, what kind of advice would you give a guy like me? Tupperware. What? Tupperware. Tupperware? Yeah, it's lightweight and it hurts less when she hits you with it. <laughs> you pick on your wife a lot. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. She's getting old. You're both getting old. Yeah, she shows more evidence. I, I think she's getting liver spots. Either that or her tanning bed blew up. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, screw that one. <laughs> Walter, let me ask you this. How, how is your how's your how's your love life? Oh, you mean sex? Yeah, don't have it. Dangerous. It can be deadly these days. Well, not for you and your wife. You two are faithful. I know. Keep the quiet. I've got her convinced you can get it just from doing it too much. <laughs> Why? Oh, I don't know. I guess sex got old. It got old. What do you think about during sex? Staying awake? <laughs> well, I, I think a good majority of those worked. What, the new jokes? Yeah, hey, I could drink a whole bottle of Metamucil and I still wouldn't give a crap. <laughs> Can we do that one on The Tonight Show? <laughs> Well, anyway, Walter, let's get back to the greeting cards. Oh, hell, whatever. You seem a little extra grumpy tonight. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Maybe too much brand. <laughs> too much brand that should make you regular. Regular hell, I'm about three years ahead of schedule. <laughs> let's, let's hear the other greeting card. All right. How about, uh, let's see, how about a belated birthday? How does that go? Sorry I missed your birthday. I thought you were dead. <laughs> Sent that to my wife. <laughs> Walter, why are you so down on love and marriage? Well, you've been married for, what, 38 years? That's right. I thought making love just got better with age. Hang on to that, dream pal. <laughs> Walter, don't you have any greeting cards that are a little more sentimental than the first two? All right, I got one for folks that are in love. Good. It goes like this. I love you as sunshines over oceans. I love you as moonlight over mountains. They say love is forever. I love you. Oh. Dirtbag. <laughs> and that's Walter. There we go. All right, all right. See, Peanut, that was a great lost tape. Yeah, at least I saw Jeff. Now we know why you lost it. Ha <laughs> ha! Funny. Right, yeah. Ready for take number two? Take number two. Am I in it? You are not. <gasps> why am I not in this video? Peanut, it's not up to me, it's up to the viewers. The videos are ranked by how many views they each get, and you're not in this one. This one sucks. What do these folks know? They're too busy eating Tide Pods and watching PewDiePie and T-Series stuff. Tide Pods. Yeah, it's kind of 2018, isn't it? Very. Okay. How do you know about this stuff? I watch the YouTube a lot. Fine. Okay. Now, number two, another lost tape. I don't understand this one. Why not? Because this guy has not been in the show for decades. People love this guy. The monkey. Right. You should put him back in the show. We'll see. Okay. Here he goes. Hi, everybody. Jeff Dunham. Greetings, mortal humans. I am Melvin, the superhero. So Melvin, I invited you here for a very special reason. Oh, did you catch a criminal? No, I found a lost tape. Oh, you solved the crime. No, it's just a lost tape. It's a character that no one's ever seen before. You killed him? No, I didn't kill him. I just used him in the act for many years, and then I put him away. That's good. You put him away because he was a criminal. No. No? No, no. I just want you to watch this. Okay. You know, some of you guys just get put away for a while. I know. Been there. Done that. Enjoy. Whatever.
<laughs> How you doing? Aha, aha, aha. You having a nice evening? Aha, aha, aha. Why don't you tell us what kind of animal you are? Animal? Well, yeah, what kind are you? Bunny rabbit. <laughs> of course not. You're some sort of lower primate. Mm. Chimpanzee? <laughs> no, lower. Chimpanzee. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> I learned that from Peanut. Very nice. You messed up your hair. <gasps> Fix, please. What? Fix, please. Your hair? Mm -hmm. oh, all right. You have very beautiful eyes. <laughs> Like we're trying to figure out what kind of animal you are. I don't know. Some sort of gorilla. <gasps> a monkey. <laughs> right. Well, look, there are a few famous gorillas or monkeys in history that we all know about. Uh -huh. Now, have you ever heard of King Kong? Granddaddy. Well, King Kong was very famous for something. He used to beat his chest with his fist. Uh -huh. Can you do that? Uh -huh. <gasps> what? Hey. What? What's that? Green banana! Senor? Yes, close the door. <laughs> Alright, now you say you're gonna beat your chest. Girl. What? Girl. Oh, you do it for a pretty girl here in the audience? Oh, we'll look around. See if we can find a nice pretty girl. Anybody you want. Anybody you want. Uh, no. No, that's Dave. That's Dave. <laughs> Not enough hair. <laughs> oh. She pretty. The young lady sitting right here on the corner. Uh-huh. Name? Tell him your name. Vonda. What? Vonda. Pretty. She's very pretty. What, what, what about our friend James? Ugly. <laughs> oh, James is a good-looking guy. Take a closer look. <laughs> Daddy! <sighs> Not your daddy. Sand color hair. <laughs> what there is of it. <laughs> I'm kidding, James. Just joke. Yeah, nah. <laughs> Vonda, this for you. Here we go. <laughs> what was that? Jalapeno. <laughs> what, little gas? No, little stick. <laughs> Look, if you're going to do something for not Vonda, you have to do something just for her. Uh, now, what can you do just for Vonda? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, you, you thought of something. Oh, you're going to sit down. Uh, now what? <laughs> <laughs> Tickling your foot does nothing for Vonda. I like it. <laughs> Look, if you're going to do something, you're going to have to give her something that she can take home and remember. Uh, now, what can you what can you give to Vonda? Mm -hmm. Oh, you thought of something. You're gonna. <laughs> For you! It's terrible. You can't give her that. You want it? No, I don't. What are you gonna do with that? No, wait a minute. What do you do with that? James.
a monkey. There we go. All right, all right. So what'd you think? I think I was beat by a monkey with a booger. Probably, yeah. And now we're at number one. The number one most watched video of ours for 2018. Is it me? It's not. Damn it! All right. It is of Ahmed. Ahmed, the lost tape. Right. The one you weren't supposed to see very early. Mm. Hi, everybody. Jeff Dunham and Ahmed here. Greetings, infidels. So, Ackman, you know what I did the other day? I don't want to know. I dug up a tape. A tape. A very old tape. How old? Well, it was before you. Before me. You did D-A. Yeah, before Ackman. Yes. And that tape is the very first iteration of you. Iteration? That's right. It was the guy that was before you. Who was it? It was a year after 9-11, and at that time, uh, Letterman and Leno were joking about what? They were joking about Osama bin Laden. That's right. Where that guy was, was he alive, was he dead, and I figured it out. You did? That's right. He was dead and living in my suitcase with my guys. So I came out with the dead Osama. Does anybody want to see that? I don't know, maybe the folks here... In Omaha, maybe they want to see it! This is one of the very first times I ever used him on stage. So it was kind of the pre precursor to you. Okay, this should be fun. Anything else different? Something. What's that? I'm, I'm, I'm fat. A little fatter. Okay, good. This will be fun. Watch this. Before we get started here, I gotta tell you, there's there's one sentence I have been waiting to hear for many months. I'm not gonna be happy until I do hear this sentence. I know our country has moved on to other things, but we cannot forget about these people. The one sentence I really want to hear is Osama bin Laden is dead. Am I right? Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have an interesting announcement for you this evening. Please help me welcome on stage before you this evening, Osama bin Laden. <laughs> Osama, thank you for coming. It is okay. You know, some people think you're dead. Some people think you're alive. I know. I'm like the Al Qaeda Elvis. <laughs> you don't look so good. I'm fine. You lost a lot of weight. Ginny Craig. <laughs> so where you been all this time? In your freaking suitcase. <laughs> Having been getting through security at the airports, I say, oh, I am Alan McNeil. <laughs> Stay in one place. I like you. No. <laughs> Look, Osama, would you mind if I ask you a few questions? It's okay. All right, I've been wondering if you Osama, how did you talk your followers into doing the things they did? Those guys were idiots. <laughs> you promised them 70 virgins in paradise. I know, it was a lie. <laughs> no virgins. No, oh, why'd you pick the number 70? I was going to say 69, but that was too obvious. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> God damn it, sorry. <laughs> Silence! <laughs> Look, I understand a lot of 
all your followers still live in, in caves. Yes, why? Too difficult to build a fort. Oh, we tried it. I said, screw it. Dig a hole. <laughs> I understand you still have a lot of advanced electronic equipment in some of these caves. Yes, what do you do with this equipment? We look at it. Look at it. Yes, why? No place to plug it in. <laughs> Kill. I understand that uh, you still run a training camp. Yes, in Camp Bin Laden. Ah, what do you do with this training camp? We have many activities. Like what? Hand to hand combat training? Yes, explosives training? Yes, arts and crafts. <laughs> Arts and crafts. See this thing on my head? Yes, I did that, really. <laughs> I made it from boxer shorts. <laughs> I understand you also have many wives. Big mistake. <laughs> Why is that? All day long. Bitch, bitch, bitch. <laughs> At least a goat does not complain. <laughs> A goat. My favorite is Margaret. <laughs> I also understand you have many children. Yes, I think the Catholics look like they're on it too. <laughs> well, Uncle Sam, we have a great audience here tonight. Would you mind answering a few questions if anybody has them? Oh, sure. Okay, so any questions, feel free to yell them out. We'll see if Uncle Sam can answer them. Anything at all, just yell them out. Where are you? I am right here, you idiot. <laughs> your dumb ass question. <laughs> More questions, but this time, please, think them through. <laughs> what else? Where are your weapons of mass destruction? Your weapons of mass destruction? Actually, that is Saddam. <laughs> I guess the bus from Fuquay got here tonight. <laughs> and that's the ghetto song, and there we are, right? Well, there you go. Those are our top 10 videos for 2018. Actually, it was our top eight. Right, yeah, top eight. Good, but yeah, anyway. And thank you for not making me number one, you ass. <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed our videos, please subscribe. Also, hit the bell for notifications. Most importantly, come see us on tour. Right, Peanut? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.